All right, good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome on this Wednesday, December 4th. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. All right, welcome back, everybody. Bonnie, good to see you. Grant, good to see you. Kent, everybody. Chuck, Bill. All right, everybody. So uh, we had a pretty decent day yesterday. I just want to say I wasn't that impressed with yesterday afternoon as much as I would like. The morning was awesome. Uh, we had a couple of really good movers, but mm, the afternoon was even that great. I mean, we saw what happened with the Dow Jones taking a very, very big hit. We got a little bit of a comeback. I think the only thing that really kind of worked out yesterday was the ETFs. But we had a couple of stocks that had some pretty decent moves. We'll check them out. Actually, some of them are actually moving today. Uh, a lot of the metal stocks actually shockingly did move yesterday also. I saw a lot of nice iceberg orders out there in the level four and the level three. So, you know, kind of helped us out a little bit. But, you know, yesterday afternoon was more of a nickels and dimes day, but the morning was obviously was phenomenal. Uh, but let's talk about it, uh, what's going on, and then we'll, we'll go through the watch list, what's moving this morning. There are a couple of other nice stocks that moved from yesterday that are, are also picking up the momentum. Remember, you want to be a good swing trader, you damn well better know how to day trade first because that's what's actually triggering some of these swing trades now. And I know some of us are actually starting to piggyback on them a little bit. All right, so let's talk about what happened yesterday. First of all, the uh, R, the VRAY is moving again this morning. Now, you could see how it had a really, really nice gap. Uh, it's got a nice little, um, took a little bit of a hit from yes, yesterday's close to this morning. It's going back up. Stock's got a lot of volume. Um, it's actually in, in, uh, in the big percentage gainers list. Listen, stock traded 3 million shares. The market's not even open. Okay, this is just pre-market. Look at all these orders on the level three all over the place. So, you know, granted, it's not up a lot. You know, it's you can see it's more or less flat, but the volume actually really attracts me about the stock. But this is one of the stocks that we did trade yesterday. And let me just bring up a five-minute chart so you can see it had some good volatility here and there. But uh, but this morning looks like a little bit better than, than, uh, than yesterday, actually. But it, I know some of you guys did trade it. ARDX, another stock that we traded yesterday that did really, really well. Now, this stock has not only turned into a nice day trade, but it became a swing trade. Back in the beginning of October, it was a $4 stock. It's up 100% already for the month. But overall, it was up about a buck yesterday. That one did pretty well. Somebody did uh, okay on that one. This one I thought was probably one of the nicest. Uh, the CDE, look at this thing, gorgeous stock. Very inexpensive. Nice, had a great spread. It was just a little bit a little slow for me because, you know, it took some time to make that big move. I mean, it had that nice pop early in the morning. It went from 670 all the way to 7 bucks. But it kind of, like, made its way up. But it, you know what? It's starting to turn, like, a little bit more of a swing trade. So, listen, you know we just don't day trade here. We do some swing trading, and this is one of them I want to keep. You should keep an eye on it because, you know, it is kind of breaking a, um, a nice little high here. Couple other ones also. We had uh, TS. That one just had a nice little trend going down that you guys traded. Uh, the POS was actually really nice. The stock, uh, metal stock, we've been watching these metals. They've been doing pretty good lately. The stock had a nice little move, a little bit more of a swing trade. You know, it, it got, you know, we traded in the afternoon. We got shaken out of it, and then it made a last-minute pop, but it's not one of those stocks that you can make a lot of money on it. And then uh, C-A-R, C-A-R-A was another one that was great, great short. Look how gorgeous that thing. 26, all the way down to 21, right down to 18. So that, uh, that's basically what you missed yesterday. But listen, that's in the archives. Let's focus on what's going on this morning. Uh, you know, obviously the market took a big, big hit yesterday. It came back. And it's actually up 150 this morning. So there are a couple of stocks that are following with the market, including the ETFs. But let's start off with the PCG trade because that one, listen, we saw the stock. We all know about it. We talked about it yesterday. We talked about the day before that. We talked about the day before that. Uh, it was actually a pretty good day trade yesterday. Had a gorgeous Fausto flag and had a really, really nice push. But she's starting to become a little bit more of a swing trade. Looks like she's going to start testing the gap right here. It looks like probably going to go to $9. And then if it breaks that right there, then you can see the stock you know, making some pretty significant move. We did really, really well with the stock. We all know about PCG. It's the uh, utility company in California. It took all the blame for the forest fires. INST, let's bring up this one right here. Talking about getting decimated, 
crushed. Look at that thing. 53 down to 47. Stock had a great run. Well, guess what? It does got support levels. It's testing them right here. Stock had a great run and actually lost it all in one day. Okay. Took one month to make it. It's losing, well, maybe half a month, actually. No, maybe a month. Um, but we got support levels. Uh, I don't like the trend, but listen, remember we did this in class yesterday, be a tip of the day. And for all everyone listen live here from, from Facebook and, and, and our Twitter, live Twitter and live uh, YouTube. Uh, you got to make sure you got to check just cause you want to short a stock. You better make sure your stock, your broker term is allowing you to short it. Cause this stock is not a very shortable stock. A lot of brokerage firms, you know, don't have shares to short. So you got to make sure you check that one out before you do that. Uh, what else we got here? The EDNT, another one. Um, the only thing that kind of turned me off a little bit about this stock right here, she had a really nice move from a buck ninety to two seventy. Great move. She started to trend down. She's making lower lows, so she's coming back to some of these support levels. But I liked her because she's got one hundred and eighty thousand shares. She's up twenty nine percent. Even though where she's now, she's at twenty nine. She was actually up about forty. You know, about you know about thirty minutes ago. So. I like to keep an eye on that and see how she goes. Hey, everyone, guess what's moving again? KOD. We all know about that stock. You know what? Some of us killed it last week. Uh, actually, I want to say last week. It was like, yeah, I guess it was last week, right? $25 stock up to 80. Remember that? We were like, we were like scared in our pants. Like, should we get out? Should we get, I mean, this thing just was just a fun stock going up. She's up and move, uh, moving again, but also remember, for some of you that are new here, this is a little bit of an advanced stock. You got to be careful. Stock is very volatile. You got to, you know, you don't, you got to have deep pockets. You got to be more educated. You got to be one of our level four, level five traders to trade the stock. But this is actually one of our biggest winners uh, so far of the of the month. But she's on to move again. Two more stocks. Well, actually, one more stock. I said V uh, V Ray, and then the R L M D is another one. That came up on my radar. This stock is breaking all-time highs, up 11%. Nice little trend. Now, listen, another tip of the day. Starting next week, we're going to be starting our new cycle of the classes. The, you know, I tell everybody this. The number one thing that you need to learn to be a good trader is not about what to buy and what to sell, where to get and where to get out, where to find the stocks. you got to make sure you can even get the shares, okay? One of the biggest things, and I say this every single day, and I want to sound like a broken record, but our job at Cybertree University is not here to teach you how to make money. It's just here to teach you how to stop losing it. You didn't make a single dollar until you sell it. So you damn well better make sure the stock is tradable. And that's the first lesson that we teach you in the, be in, in the beginner part of the class. People are like, what do you mean by tradable? Well, you know what? Go back to your lessons and look at it. But you can't buy a stock if there's no shares for you to sell, okay? And the biggest, most expensive part of the trade is not the ticket charge, which now they're starting to give it to you for free, these brokerage firms, because they know what a big failure rate it is, but it's the spread, okay? So you better damn check that spread, and that's the number one thing we teach you in class, because you know a lot of you guys shouldn't even be in these stocks, you know, if you, did, if you checked it out, what the spread was. So I want you guys to focus on that, and, you know, even though the stock looks great, do the math, guys. Uh... PCG, yeah, Ken, you know what? Like I said, I'm watching that PCG. It's becoming a little bit more of a swing trade. So, you know, you got to take that uh, into consideration. Uh, ben already made a dollar. He's already killing it already in pre-market. He's up a buck already in pre-market trading that uh, ARWR. Give him a round of applause. Way to go. Way to, way to start the morning. All right, guys, anything I'm missing I did not call out? Anything? I think I pretty much got them all. It's like a broken record. I say it all the time, but the, you know, I like to see if anyone has anything. All right, guys, listen, just because we found these stocks doesn't mean we're going to be trading all of them. Only one or two of them are going to be good. You know, when the market opens up, we always find some new stocks that open up. But this is what some of you have been trading in pre-market, just like how Ben's already been shorting the ARWR. But, um, but like I said, if we see something, we'll say something. Now, remember, uh, regarding about tomorrow, let me just go back over here. Don't forget, guys, we got open house uh, starting tomorrow. We got traders talk. Uh, so you don't want to miss that. And we got the classes coming up. So uh, don't forget to, to jump on. Remember, the, the biggest thing is we don't, we don't trade full time. You should be trading more than an hour a day. Most of the time, you should be spending reviewing the lessons, the classes. We just finished phase three yesterday. Go back and review that. Because remember, the more time you put in there to learn how to trade, the easier and less time you'll put on trading, which is where 
you know, where your focus should be. All right, guys. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And uh, we'll start commentating in about uh, about 15 minutes. So go catch some coffee. Go hit the restrooms. And uh, we'll get ready to pick up from there. And then for some of you that missed out, we'll be doing another audio broadcast just like this at 2.30 in the afternoon. All right. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.